Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Rethink, Reconfigure, and Restart. I'm absolutely convinced that digitization is the way to go to help solve problems which have occurred due to the pandemic. Actually, it's a fantastic opportunity for every organization to really see how can they use technologies to enable their functions, their day-to-day -day lives. Today, to discuss how digitization is helping us, I have a really good person with me today, a friend and a leader in his own right. Puneet Chando, President of India and South Asia at AWS. Welcome, Puneet. Puneet, let me start off by asking you about cloud, cloud computing, cloud technologies, and so on and so forth. There's been so much of conversation around it. And what is your advice to the CEOs when they think about cloud? In terms of my advice to CEOs, I'll say three things. One, uh, in all my conversation with, with CEOs, I think the, there's an increasing realization that companies and businesses that are thinking deeply about technology and cloud are going to come out of this crisis much stronger, right? Because they were able, they never had any technical debt to carry on their shoulders and, and that made them a lot more agile, that made them a lot more faster uh, and they're going to come out of this much stronger. So my first piece of advice for CEOs is to think deeply about technology and cloud. Don't think of this as a function, don't think of this as a procurement decision. Think of this as a core part of your business uh, and your strategy. Uh, it can't just be an afterthought. Right? So I think that's one. So my second piece of advice is get real about digital. Um, the roadmap that you need to have on your digital and, and technology has to be in days and weeks, not in months and quarters and years. You really don't have that luxury anymore. And finally, think about new ideas. A lot of companies today are also stepping back and saying, can we really use this time to drive real innovation? Right? And I see a lot of businesses and customers drive a set of experiments I'd really encourage people to think deeply about that. Absolutely, Puneet. I can fully relate to it. Even in PwC, we pride ourselves to be a cloud-first company. And frankly, it took us just two days to be fully up and running when the lockdown hit us. And that was pretty much globally. Other area, especially in the context of India, which concerns us is, and we've talked a lot about, is the MSME sector. And I do feel that the solution sets which are there, what you offer or what we offer are very well suited to that ecosystem. What is your idea? What is your thought around that? We should have a conversation around why SMBs matter uh, for India. We should have a conversation around how do SMBs really adopt technology? And then third, how do we, all of us as solution providers, technology companies and leaders, how do we really go and enable SMBs in India? Number one, SMBs matter because SMBs move India forward, right? There are 75 million SMBs in India today. Uh, they generate roughly a third of our employment, roughly a half of our exports. There's no other way to move India forward unless we move SMBs and we enable them. Uh, when Jeff was in India earlier this year, we made a pledge to digitize 10 million SMBs for the next five years in India. The SMBs in India today are the world's largest open market for technology companies to serve. If you want to reach the length and breadth of Bharat, there is no other way you can get to get to Bharat if you're not really working with SMB. So let me now come to the final part of the conversation uh, in terms of just some specific ideas for SMBs in India and, and what can PwC and AWS and, and technology companies and solution providers come together and do. Uh, I would say three things. One, it's about creating awareness and education. I've always believed the S in SMB stands for simple. And they want simple technology solutions which solve their real business needs and a simple way to adopt and, and run and support. Uh, I think we all need to work together and go and educate them. And by the way, 60% of SMBs in India are in tier two, tier three cities where we really need to get there and, and create the awareness. Number two, we all need to come together and build a set of simple, bundled, uh, low priced, and by the way, there's a real price barrier in this market, uh, given the context, um, with a lot of support. Right? And we need to bring that together. And again, these have to be solutions which are not cloud native services, for example, right? They don't want compute and storage and analytics. They actually want simple solutions that solve their HR, payroll, attendance, accounting problems. And then the third one, right? Uh, it is, as I said, it's a large market, it's a large channel, but it's also a very difficult market to go after. And the only way to do this is to try a set of experiments, iterate, learn, and then scale up. Puneet, I will always remember the S stands for simple. I think so that's a really good way to think about that sector and the solutions, what we need to provide to them. The other area, which frankly, AWS is so well known 
is the whole startup ecosystem. And I can't let you go without talking about how has AWS acted as a catalyst in that ecosystem? How's that supported that ecosystem? And what more are you guys doing in that? I have a strong belief that the startups of today, Ivanka, would be the enterprises of tomorrow. Right? They will all eventually scale up and, and become bigger and bigger businesses. I also have a strong belief that the next generation of startups will actually come from enterprises. And I know this is slightly counterintuitive, but we're already seeing a wave of really interesting new ideas, almost startup-like ideas come up, come out of enterprises in India, right? A lot of conglomerates in India have launched digital bank and fintech companies, and they're all incubating and building the next generation of startups, right? So the point I want to make is that there is there's a real opportunity to bring this ecosystem together. COVID, quite honestly, has changed the way we, we operate, right? It's changed the way we entertain, changed the way we work, changed the way we consume, changed the way we build. I think that just uh, gives us a lot of opportunities, right? And especially if you can kind of bring together the new technologies around the AML analytics and really think about user interfaces and experience in a different way, you can today level the playing field. I always go back to this really interesting statement from Andy Groove. He made this many, many years ago, but it's very relevant today, right? And he said, bad companies are destroyed by crisis. Good companies survive the crisis. The great companies are really defined by the crisis. Right? And I really think there is a real opportunity for some really great startups businesses to come out of India at this time. So Devankar, it's, it's, it's a bit of a dichotomy, right? And on one hand, we are seeing customers and, and companies uh, think about cost in a very different way, right? And trying to reduce as much cost as they can across IT and infrastructure and, and every part of the business. On the other hand, we're also seeing this increasing need to think about technology and cloud and, and digital in a very different way, right? And are you seeing this challenge across your clients? And um, how do you see cloud play a role in solving this dichotomy? You are very right, Puneet. We are always talking in terms of balancing the costs, which we should incur, which we should not with our clients. And I have always looked at it in terms of good costs and bad costs. And really, when we talk about technology costs, the way I have tried to articulate it to them is really to look at three, four elements. One is that why are we incurring this cost itself? Is it going to help you enhance revenue, minimize costs, or navigate some risks? or helping your people environment. So if that is the case, then perhaps it is a good cost and it is making you fit for future, look at it in that way. Second is around digital as a way of life. I don't think so we are going back to our old way of working and virtual will become a way of life. So digital is a strategic differentiator. So when you look at digital transformation, look at through that lens. The third one, is really the value or the business outcomes which we are seeking. So how am I connecting better to my customer? How am I connecting better to my suppliers? And is that ecosystem which I'm trying to address, can it be done better with technology investments? So let's be very clear on the business outcomes which we are seeking and then work backwards from there to see what are the technologies. In this, to my mind, cloud today plays an absolute pivotal role. It is no more an infrastructure play, but I always say it is the enabler. The fact that you can work from anywhere because your data resides securely uh, on the cloud, because you don't have to have your own infrastructure, it makes you very agile. So cloud is to me an absolute enabler today. And I think so CEOs are getting it. Thank you, Puneet. It was truly an insightful conversation. There are so many opportunities and I think so that's the way to look at it. The pandemic, there are challenges, but there are opportunities. Let's focus on the opportunities. Let's focus on how we rethink, re reconfigure and restart. Next week, we'll bring another theme, another discussion to you. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy.